Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Moon and as well Rising weekly tarot reading September 9th to September 15th, 2019 and bear with me a second guys to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards and we can jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic and the very theme of your Taurus uh, week is going to be the Six of Swords, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that will be the Four of Swords. Afterwards is going to be the World card for what it seems in regards to the positive aspect. And then the final one is going to be the Three of Cups which stands for the guidance that Tsar is offering to you. So uh, these cards here are speaking that your moment has come, okay? And uh, it's going to find you a bit uh, unprepared, or at least according to your standard. So the only thing that I can uh, see here in a negative way happening um, in regards to the week itself, it's uh, panicking, right? You may kind of become a little bit of a, a panicked in regards to the... Um, future endeavors that the week is holding for you. But before we go into all that, let's run the cards one more time. So the first one is going to be the Six of Swords, which represents the topic, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges here of the Four of Swords. Afterwards, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be the World card, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the final one, that will be the Tree of Cups, which represents the guidance that Tsaro is offering. All right, so Six of Swords. Well, Six of Swords, uh, in, a, in a grand scheme of things, usually uh, is associated with uh, um, an important transition that one is to do. Uh, you, Taurus, throughout the week. A transition that a bit throws you off your comfort zone in a sense of that you are feeling a bit insecure what is going to happen after the transition is over it's no diff different than for example the transition of going through divorce the transition of changing jobs the transition of uh, moving out of relationship or moving into relationship all right it is just that kind of an action which you know that there is no turning back after, all right? And for that reason, you may find yourself a bit scared and that is, um, that is understandable. You are sitting on a, a verge of a threshold that you don't know what happens after you traverse this threshold. But in reality, there is very little risk, risk involved here uh, with the Six of Swords and... Uh, in reality, there is nothing that you should be afraid of. As a matter of fact, anything you do is going to be simply put you in a better place than you are in right now. 
The accompanied card here is going to be the tower, the formation. It is a uh, active friends that we do have, and this transition it is very necessary. Even if it is something that is accompanied with unpleasant symptoms, you know, something that it is a com that transition is accompanied with you letting go of certain people or of certain situations, endeavors, and etc. etc. Even if it is associated with you having to change something with yourself, something that you are not feeling very comfortable at, all right. Uh, ultimately is going to lead you to a nourishing and very positive um, positive heights, you know, positive outcomes into your life. Now, that is a simultaneously here transition and a transformation into one's life. If I have to uh, take a look at it um, and talk more objectively about these two cards, it's more about... Um, Cutting your losses and doing the necessary so one can improve one's life. It's like taking those uh, very brave actions or making those very brave actions in order to improve your circumstances, knowing that those actions may hurt you a little bit, you know. For example, leaving a beloved one or detaching from a certain social circle, you know, or leaving your job or starting a job that you... Uh, ultimately didn't want it to but the job is going to prove itself quite lucrative and etc etc now the challenges that you need to face here are in the face of the four of swords and it's going to be very challenging for you to be calm all right to be it's not even about patience it's about the clamorous belief that this transition is going to offer you the peace you need, okay, or the peace that you are aiming for, because everybody is aiming for peace. Everybody wants peaceful life, all right? So this transition gets you one step closer to your peaceful life and it will be uh, challenging for you to, to believe it. Additionally to that, it will be challenging for you to believe to the people that tells you that uh, this transition it is exactly what you need. Okay, For example, you are into a... Um, you are you are going through a, through a stressful traumatic times all right you are going into a, a therapist shrink or, or or whatever you know and that therapist is telling you that everything is going to be okay is telling you how it's going to be okay and etc cetera, etc cetera, and you are finding it difficult to believe so that is going to be the challenge uh, for you Tauruses. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ten of Cups formation. It is a active um, active neutrals, excuse me. So a uh, Ten of Cups here actually eases up a bit the burden and what it says to the Four of uh, Swords is that even though you may not believe to the um, <clears throat> predictions that uh, you itself is placing on the situation and everybody else as a matter of fact is placing upon this transition in this situation you can find solace and respite into the small things in life I mean you can you can pretty much see that the results themselves of that transition are promising the uh, uh, the uh, the peace and the comfort that uh, the transition itself is making you going closer and closer to it so uh the next card that stands for the uh positive aspect of your week is going to be the world card so with the world card uh, it does look like that this week is going to be the week of the culmination of the past and the infiltration of the future Right. So whatever um, unpleasant thing you had up until this moment, it seems that you are going to sort it out. OK, you are going to settle on it. And from there, a, a peak of experience is to follow in a sense of that is going to be done, is going to be over. And from there, a new perspective starts to emerge for you, like a new beginning, new future and etc, etc. For example, you owe money. Well, it does look like that you are going to have the circumstances just right to take to make the necessary actions here, which are to improve your financial state that will allow you to repay your debt. All right. And um, as the transitions it's itself says, it may not be something that you are going to be very comfortable of doing. All right. But nonetheless, it's going to improve your circumstances. Once again, as a general reading, we are here discussing the conditions and the opportunities. Should you take um, should you take advantage of um, of those opportunities 
well that is entirely on you the accompanied card here is going to be the five of cups the formation it is a, a passive friends that we do have here so with the five of cups it does look like that you uh, would have liked to be the other way around all right in a sense of that even though you may make your peace you may make uh, um, the debt repaid all right or it, it's kind of like you may close that chapter of your life still that sense of, of, of regret is gonna linger for a quite a while but in the same time this sense of regret here with these two cards guys is going to also make you more ambitious more determined is is going to improve your self-respect and is going to improve as well your clamor that you should not abandon your goal in general. So if that was a, about a uh, unfulfilled relationship or failed relationship or something like this, you know, the, even though it may end up ugly and you are now kind of like closing the whole thing out as a uh, old chapter of your life and moving forward uh, into the future, you are not going to exclude the opportunity to fall in love again, which are many people doing, you know, they get, they end up heartbroken Broken, and I don't want to hear about love any longer all right but with your case here whatever that transition is all about is not going to deprive you from uh, the uh, from the ambition and the yearning to experiencing this time the right way the same thing once again and the last card that we do have for you Taurus is going to be the Three of Cups. So Three of Cups here points that you are going to be uh, surrounded by people who are cheering up for you and who are uh, simply wants to see you prevail. Three of Cups here points that you should allow yourself to share your burdens, to share your pain. Just talk about it. That is the guidance. Talk about it with people that are um, that are surrounding you. Talk about your concerns. Talk about what you are feeling. Talk about uh, uh, you know, or share with them uh, what your goals are, how your vision is taking place, and etc. etc. Because those people, if not everything else, you know, uh, they're gonna make you feel better. But it is not excluded as well, guys, that this may lead up to a, a very, very fruitful uh, cooperation. The accompanied card here it is the lovers, and that will be uh, active, uh, passive, excuse me, passive uh, neutrals. So with the lovers to the three of cups, especially if you are uh, losing grip uh, upon your direction, you don't know what to do, you don't know how to act, you don't know what to say uh, to someone that it is very vital or to something that it is very vital for your success. Well, dispute this with those who are faithful to you, who are loyal to you, you know, dispute it with a, um, with a good friends of yours. And then and you um, with throughout these sharing of, of feelings and of, of information as well you will lean inevitably toward the right decision that you will have to make so that being said Taurus this was your weekly tarot reading guys for a September 9th to September 15th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to see each other around until then bye